Hi everybody, this is Dr. Vahid Aryadust. In a previous video, I discussed how you can do a path analysis in Jamovi and estimate the parameters as well as the fit statistics and decide whether your model fits the data well or not. I want to build upon that model, which is uh, presented here in this window, and I want to explain two related concepts. One of them is partial mediation and the other one is complete mediation. These are important concepts because um, in many circumstances we run into situations where the relationship between one variable is uh, mediated by another variable and that variable is called mediator as you see in this image. So in this context we have uh, this mediator uh, which mediates the relationship between X and Y. In other words, uh, a part of the effect of X is transmitted to Y through another third variable, which is a mediator. And a part of the effect of X is contributed directly uh, to Y, and this is represented by this one-headed arrow, as you can see. So uh, the two mediation uh, types, which I mentioned, are partial and complete. Complete is also known as full mediation. A partial uh, mediation basically refers to a situation where um, uh, the mediator variable here um, only partially accounts for the relationship between the independent and the dependent variable. In other words, the direct path from uh, the independent variable x to the dependent variable y remains significant. In this situation, therefore, we have two significant paths. One of them is from x to y, which is typically known as uh, c prime. So c prime usually has a p-value, not usually, it has to always have a p-value uh, smaller than 0 0.05 or even smaller than this, depending on your alpha level. But also, uh, the A and B are also statistically significant in the same way, but importantly, A times B is also statistic, uh, also has a significant uh, p-value. Let me remove this dot here. p-value, which is smaller than 0 0.05. Therefore, the C prime has to be statistically significant, as well as the A times B has to be statistically significant. In this case, we call it a partial mediation. Not to confuse yourself, this is uh, a, a, another way of viewing this is um, that it's partial because the mediator only partially uh, intervenes between X and Y. And another part of the effect from X and Y is direct. So a part is uh, C, a part of the effect is represented by C prime, and a part of the effect is represented by A times B. That's why we call it a partial mediation. Uh, this relationship suggests that the mediator contributes to, but does not fully explain the effect of the independent variable X on the dependent variable Y. In conclusion, both the direct and indirect paths through the mediator are significant and this indicates that other mechanisms alongside the mediator are also influencing the uh, dependent variable in this context. Now let's look at another scenario which uh, is known as the full or complete uh, mediation in the context of path analysis or just mediation analysis. When it comes to complete mediation uh, we basically have a mediator variable which fully accounts for the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable. In this case, after controlling for the effect of mediator, the direct path from X to Y, which is just named as C prime, is not statistically significant. So the p-value which you will get will be larger than 0 0.05. So any effect on Y is only and only attributed to the mediator and therefore A and B path parameters, that is A times B, 
has a p-value which is smaller than 0 0.05 or smaller than 0 0.01 depending on the alpha level. This is the difference between complete and uh, partial mediation. Let me give you an example from the model that I just presented in my Jamovi interface. In this uh, model, I do have several indirect paths uh, in which um, the relationship between the dependent or independent and independent variable or endogenous and exogenous variables is mediated through a third variable. In this context, for example, grammar uh, affects comprehension and comprehension affects SW total. So this is the path that I'm interested in as well as this path. So if there is a partial, co uh, partial mediation uh, held between grammar and uh, SW total, the p-value that is associated with the direct path, c prime here, and the indirect path, that is a times b, a times b, will both be significant at a p-value like sm smaller than 0 0.05. But if, on the other hand, the, uh, the uh, mediation is complete, what happens is that this C prime is not statistically significant anymore. And the only statistical significance uh, is achieved when you're looking at grammar, compre, and compre uh, sub, uh, SW total path. So let's look at our output. I have, just for convenience, moved the path uh, the output of the Jamovi software so it will be easier for us to go through the data. The first thing that you see is the path from grammar to compre and then compre to subtotal as I have just discussed. And another path is from compre to uh, SW total. And let's see if these are statistically significant or not. So first of all grammar to compre. As you can see uh, from this part of the window the path from grammar to compre, which I have named A, is statistically significant as indicated by its p-value, and it has an estimate of 0 0.1908, uh, which is not uh, unstandardized, an unstandardized estimate, indicating that if grammar increases by one unit, uh, compre or comprehension will increase by 0 0.1908 units. On the other hand, we also uh, have the beta coefficient, which is the standardized coefficient, uh, which is estimated by dividing the unstandardized estimate by standard deviation. In this context, uh, the unit will be standard deviations. So if grammar increases by one unit, uh, compre will increase by 0. Point, excuse me, if grammar increases by one standard deviation, compre increases by 0. 0.3526 standard deviations, which is pretty high. And as I indicated in the previous video, the z value is also estimated by dividing the estimates, the unstandardized estimates, by its uh, uh, standard error of measurement. Uh, it will give you the z, z value. Now the z value is really high and as a result the associated p-value is statistically significant. In sum, the path from grammar to compre, which is A, is statistically significant and I'm going to represent by one uh, asterisk here. The path from compre to B can also be viewed from this part of the, the table and compre to uh, SW total is also statistically significant as represented by the p-value here. Therefore, I put that asterisk beside the, the, the beta, or, uh, sorry, the B uh, parameter. As you see, the estimate is 0 0.3894 and the estimate, um, uh, the uh, beta regression estimate is 0 0.1186. So if uh, Compre increases by one standard deviation, uh, SW total increases by 0 0.1186 standard deviations. And finally, the direct path from grammar, which is our independent variable, to the subtotal, uh, SW total, is also statistically significant as indicated here in this p-value estimate. What we conclude here is that 
the C value is statistically significant, A is and B is, but more important than just A and B per se, we're looking for A times B to figure out if it is significant or not. If it is significant, then there is some sort of mediation effect. If it's not significant, then there is no mediation effect at all. So A times B is uh, estimated in another window, another table, which is called defined parameters, indirect defined parameters, as I have discussed in the previous video. And uh, as you can see, grammar, uh, um, it has a path to uh, Compre and, and Compre has a path to SW total has a significant p value right here. So as uh, so um, the indirect path from grammar to SW total is also statistically significant and equals I'm going to indicate this uh, beta coefficient there it it equals 0 0.0 42, this is the beta, and the estimate is, is right here, 0 0.074, 0 0.074. As I mentioned in the previous video, this 0 0.074 0 .0 can be calculated by just simply uh, multiplying A by B. That is, multiply this A and multiply by this. So if you multiply these two, you will get something, uh, you will get this estimate, not beta really, but uh, the estimate itself because it's unstandardized. So we conclude that we're looking at a partial mediation relationship here. It's partial because um, not only the direct effect but also the indirect effect are both statistically significant. So a part of the effect of grammar is mediated or transmitted through Compre or the mediator uh, to SW total and another part of its effect is is uh, basically direct and from grammar itself to uh, SW total. Now the point is that in this analysis we do not have any complete um, mediation which um, indicates that in this model which we have looked at there is no uh, complete mediation but if uh, I mean it's not difficult to imagine if C uh, the C prime here were not significant for example if the p-value had been larger than 0 0.05 in this scenario uh, we would be looking at a um, complete or full mediation relationship between grammar and SW total simply because only A times B has a significant relation uh, has a significant p-value associated with it whereas C prime does not have that so if I want to draw a conclusion the uh, upper path model represents a partial mediation where the relationship between X and Y as mediated through Z is significant as indicated by that green uh, tick sign as well as the direct relationship between X and Y thus a partial mediation. On the other hand when the direct relationship between the independent variable here which is X and the dependent variable here which is Y is not statistically significant P is larger than 0 0.05 whereas the other path which is uh, trans, uh, tr uh, which moves through mediation, and the effect is transmitted through uh, th that mediator factor or uh, variable is statistically significant. Therefore, we are looking at a complete uh, mediation case. I hope this clarifies the two concepts of mediation, uh, uh, partial mediation, and complete mediation. If you like the video, please give it a like. And stay tuned, I will uh, talk more about other types of mediation in path analysis very soon. Thank you and have a great day.